after you shoot them. Mm -hmm. I try and, uh, I've marked on the board here where the waist is. And, um, if I want to bend the waist here and align it up with that, but I like to kind of, because I can't see very good, I line the waist up on the top and then I make my bends here because this H is for head. And then when I go back, this I've marked this side soundboard so it's flat side and this tail and it'll, but it's important that you have a line of reference so you can do your waist. And then I kind of just start bending about here <coughs> where um, where the bend is real actuated or uh, strong. You hear it kind of popping and crackling and it, it's roasting out that steam so that uh, the effect of bending it can happen. It's kind of fun. But always remember that uh, the little machine stays hot forever. The little round thing. Okay, and then I'll bring it over here and I'll line the waist up. See how I'm doing. See, it, it fits pretty good now. Because I've got a full a full clamp over there that this is going to go into. <clears throat> Usually try and overbend just a little bit because um, everything kind of tries to spring back just a little. Uh, overbend a little bit just means You kind of either have to be uh, into the energy of bending this stuff or not. And if you're not, you probably can't understand. Because it's just woodworking. And I'm kind of curving this side a little so it lays on here a little better. And I always line up this waist mark with my waist mark on there for my form. Now I'm starting to get back over here where I'm going to start doing a little, it's not as intense of a bend going around that back side. This is my um, um, what the hell is this? This is my pi Little Red Pineapple series ukuleles. They're um, concert next. I started out, I was using, I'm kind of trying to do some recycled old wood and started out with some mahogany that just did not work at all. Some old mahogany from a Hatteras Yarrup that was just too dried out. That's gonna fit. Looks like it's gonna. I take my gloves off. Find the appropriate other side of this, which is there's that waist line. So I lay my piece in here and try and kind of line up my waist on there. So I've got my waist pretty good at. I don't like to leave so much hanging out on one side. I like to kind of 
space it between both of them evenly. Okay, well, the front line's pretty good here, so it's not like rocket science that you have to be that impressingly cool with anything. Though can't be stupid either. And then I just leave it here in the box for oh twenty four hours. And they come out kinda like this which is, now these are Spanish snacks, which is kind of an interesting process I've never done before, but I think is kind of unique. But then you get these sides that look like this, and um, and there you go, that's how to bend, uh, that's how to hot bend ukulele sides.